Looking for a new car? We can help you. D Motors, your car specialists. This is the GWM P Series from Great Wall Motors, a Chinese brand who is doing quite well in South Africa. But is this Bucky good enough to scare the competition? Let's talk about the design, shall we? Now we've got these LED lights that look quite nice. Now the grill at the front reminds me of, you know, the old Toyota Tundras in the US. It has that sort of grill. And it does look a bit like the Tundra at the front. But other than that, it looks quite nice at the front. You have this little skid plate here. You've got this, you might think this is a Q, but it's actually a P. See if I tilt the camera like that, it's a P. But anyway, uh, we move down to the side here. You've got the sort of, not body kit, but wide body. You've got the, the vent, but it's fake, but that doesn't matter. This is the camera for the 360 parking. You've got chrome on the door mirrors, chrome on the door handles. You've got a running board. You've got the styling, this bar in the back. 18 inch wheels will look quite good. Um, LED lights at the back. Overall, I think it's quite a nice bucky. Underneath the bonnet is a two liter turbo diesel engine mated to an eight speed automatic gearbox from ZF. Here's the back there, see if I can open it. Yay! Look, it's dampened as well because it's got gas struts, which makes it easier for weak handed people like me. And you've got a step here like an American. What can, can I, yes, there you go. There you go. Look at that. So it even has uh, Chinese letters here so you can practice your Chinese. I just get up like that and I'm in. I can see this power station from here and you've got load lining the standard if you do haul stuff sports bar on the back here now let's get down it's easy actually i'll just pull this step yep whoops there you go and it's easy to put the step back look how easy that is the interior of the P-Series is a state-of-the-art too, with leather everywhere and a 360-degree camera system, which I shall now show you. Let's have a look inside. Those running boards just make it so much easier. Right, now let's turn this music off before I get copyright. Open the window to get some air in here. It's quite nice inside. You've got a steering wheel here. You've got your phone functions. You've got a digital speed over there. You've got a screen over here. If I go to home, it's, it's quite fast, actually. It's not mega fast, but it's fast. And um, if I, oh, sure. I oh, gee. let's turn that off. Sorry, I once more. Okay, so Sorry. what else have you got? Um, you've got, if I push this button, it should activate the parking. There you go. Look at that. So as you can see, there's some cars there. Um, if I want to look, I can go to 3D if I want. You can click where you want to go. So I can go like that. One can click it again. Click it again, Sam. So basically it has all the cameras. It's got parking sensors front and rear I think not on the side you can choose where you want the view so I can go like that that's the side there's a wall there um, I can go to that view I can even go 360 if I push this button the 360 degree camera is great when parking the big bucky like this plus it's a cool thing to show off to your friends the car also has other safety features, such as... Well, here you've got blind spot monitoring, you've got lane departure warning, you've got adaptive cruise control. It means the car can steer itself, brake itself and drive itself, basically. You just have to keep your hands on the wheel like that. 
and you've got this nice carbon fiber trim well not carbon fiber but it looks jolly similar and yeah you've also got a digital speedometer and lots and lots of leather lots in here you've got an armrest and if you don't want people to see your cup holders eh, you can uh, hide it with a tray and then you've got some snow tea so you have normal i think that's normal eco and road i think it's road and you've got electric mirrors when you lock the car they actually fold in and um what else have you got Everything is leather in here, as you can see, the steering feels nice, and you've got a place for your sunglasses up here. So we'll just turn the car off. It's so quiet and seamless in here. It really is nice. The P series is very spacious and luxurious in the front, but have they compromised in the back? Let's go to the back. Right. You've got this grab handle here, which makes it very easy to get in and out of, you know. Shut the door. And what's it like in the back? Well, as you can see, I've got loads of headroom and knee room's good too. And you've got a pouch at the back here, which you don't get a standard on an Audi. Plus, you get an armrest here. Which is a bit high for me, but I guess they design it like that. Got a seatbelt for the middle passenger. And you see this? This is a plug there. Domestic plug. So you can make a piece of toast or put the kettle on. You've also got a USB for your uh, charging. Because you know children these days. Sure, there's only one. But it, I mean, one's better than none. Am I right? You've got uh, air vents at the back as well airbags on the seats airbags everywhere in this thing and just look at the quality of the leather the gwm haven't cheapened at all same leather as in the front there leather everywhere you've got chrome here overall it's a very luxurious experience and you've got grab handles here so yeah overall it's a very luxurious experience in the great wall so, should you buy a P-Series? Are GWM finally competitive in the lucrative bucky market? In a way, yes, it is the best bucky in the class because it's got the features of a Mercedes at half the price of a Ford Ranger or Hilux. You can't even buy a Hilux because of the factory is closed. So, if you're looking at a Ranger or a Hilux, don't be afraid to get one of these. So there you are, the P-Series wins in my book with its good equipment, great price, great interior, good low bed capacity, and good space in the back. So the answer is yes, China are finally competitive in the lucrative bucky market. Thanks for watching.